Hi everyone, Digga here, and today I'm taking a look at the Chocolate Edition Ice Cream Crab by artist Nomiwa and Unbox Industries. Apologies in advance if this crunchy crustacean makes you crave some soft serve. Let's get started. Can you dig it? Right off the bat, the first thing you'll notice is that this comes in some very attractive packaging. This is done up to be a really nice sort of premium ice cream experience, but with a little crab inside. So you'll see right on the front here is our little friend, the Ice Cream Crab Chocolate Edition, designed by Nomiwa. Very, very cute. I love this so much. Let's take a little trip around here really quick. You can see there's a nice big old chocolate bar here. The striped background has sort of like a toffee coloring into the like a rocky road mixture. Maybe some marshmallows here. There's uh, the obligatory logos, Unbox Industries, of course. Uh, this is a 15 plus toy. Basically, you know, it's like a an art toy. It's not something you would give to a two year old because they would probably try to eat it because it's a cute looking ice cream cone crab. Don't do it. It's a choking hazard. Be very careful who you give this to. But you'll also see, of course, the Unbox Industries holofoil sticker. I love these things. I could stare at them all day, but I won't because we have a little figure to open up. I'm really excited to see how this opens because I'm hoping I can preserve the packaging. Uh, my favorite part is when you turn it up here, you'll get a very nice shot of a big chocolate and vanilla swirl going into the ice cream crab logo designed by Nomiwa. Of course, they have these little ruffles, ridges, whatever you call them, to replicate the top of those ice cream cones. And I really like that a lot. That is so freaking cool. And just like a crab, you can actually have the packaging straight up sitting there on your shelf. I guess if you wanted to have it in a sort of a pyramid display, kind of peeking from above. That's really cute. Anyway, let's open this up. I'm very curious to see how this is going to play out. So let's just do it. Got to be very careful to preserve the premium art toy packaging. So you lift up the top here. There's actually a little um, now that I see. <laughs> Looking closely, there was a little part I could pull up. It's fine. I got it anyway. We have our little friend inside the bubble. Oh, this is so cute. Can I just place this down and have it kind of shake out? Probably not. I mean, Ice Cream Crab has really made a home in here. So uh, I think what I'll do is I will just kind of pull it gently from the top. And much like a party popper, it kind of just lifts up. Well, it has the party popper texture. Anyway, let's get our little friend out. There's ice cream crab. Fortunately, our little friend is not going to be melting all over the setup, so we can take a nice close look. Staring it straight in the face, you can see that the ice cream crab chocolate edition has these very nice faded eyes with a sort of a, a lilac purple transition. And then of course on top where you have the cone itself, it has some really nice texturing. It really does feel just like a waffle cone. And it has sort of a subtle, I almost want to say like a, a patina paint, which doesn't really sound appetizing for an ice cream, but it, it's kind of like, um, like, like little swivels of gray. Does that even make sense? I don't know. Uh, but most importantly, on top of this chocolatey layer, there is a very nice, almost, I want to say like mint with sprinkles. And that's really cute. I love that extra layer with, uh, you know, uh, proper molding that gives it an uh, extra bit of depth, which is really nice. Of course, the chocolate is nothing to be sneezed at as well. You do have the sprinkles. You do have the nice chocolatey coloring, which of itself has its own fading. Up here, you'll see that there is sort of um, almost like um, ice cream crab was kind of poking at itself, you know, kind of cleaning up a bit after maybe uh, going a little too deep in the water. And this sort of fading actually continues around to the side. As you'll see here, there is a little bit of it down on the legs, which is also accounted for on the other side as well. Oh, it looks like this leg is actually being dipped into quite a bit more of the melty sort of sprinkly mixture. Very interesting. There's a little bit of a difference here. I can't tell if that's molded intentionally or if that's just a variation, but I, I do like that effect because when you come back here, you'll see at the, the very back there is a lot of this minty ice cream drooling out, making a mess. So I guess this little guy's in a constant state of just dripping ice cream everywhere, which is totally cool. I mean, look at him. Just so friendly, so wholesome. 
And then on the bottom, we have the Unbox Industries logo accompanied by Nomiwa's really nice looking logo. You can see that there's like a, there's different parts of the name everywhere. So there's the, you know, the N-O-M-I, uh, there's uh, the W, I guess is the entirety of this, really. I like this molding. It, it gives it sort of like a, a cookie crumb texture at the bottom. And you can also see the discrepancy between both sides having uh, different layers of melting rather than it just being the same for both which I think is a pretty nice little touch. I really enjoy this a lot. I mean, it's an ice cream crab. It's in a giant waffle cone. What more can you say? You can pick it up. You can shake it all over the place. You can eat it. Maybe don't eat it. Let's bring in some little dessert friends for comparison. Here we have ice cream crab next to Milton the Kaiju Candy from Super 7. This is the golden cone orange translucent variant. I really love having a bunch of really cute little ice cream figures, especially with the other dessert friends. I'm such a sucker for these. I can never resist. Here it is next to the Fruit Zoo Peachy Chocolate Monkey. Must be nice to find a fellow chocolate flavored friend with sprinkles, no less. Scrumptious and dapper. And just for good measure, repping the crab side of things, here it is next to these two really cute crab pencil holders that I got one year at DesignerCon. They're super cute, super shiny, and actually super stackable too. They're very, very good at holding quite a lot of things. Actually, I bet they could even hold ice cream crab. Check this out. Oh, look how powerful this little guy is. Whoa, is that a frame? They say a good friend should always be there to lift you up, but this really takes it to a whole nother level. Good job, little guy. It looks like two can play at that game. Good to have friends that'll be there for you in a pinch. Even if Ice Cream Crab doesn't get a say in the matter. And just to show how nice and reusable the packaging is, let's go ahead and tuck our little Ice Cream Crab friend. Ooh, that was a very satisfying sound. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and put it back inside the actual packaging. You just kind of, uh, Lift off the ridges here as it goes over. Push it up a bit. Take your little ice cream crab topper here. Navigate it down here. Place it through. Kind of um, hide the little pulley part. And then you just kind of gently wrap the swirls around until it is back, resealed, and ready to freeze again. And that was the Ice Cream Crab Chocolate Edition by Nomiwa and Unbox Industries. Very cute, very fun design. I can't get over just how nice it came out with the dripping and the shading. And it's a very simplistic and fun design that I think fits in really nicely with a lot of different collections. As someone who collects a lot of dessert-related art toys, it really does satisfy that sweet tooth. Pun completely intended, and I'm not going to apologize for it. The packaging alone is super appealing. I really, really do enjoy it a lot. And it's so cool that it's easily resealable so you can take it out and display it and then put it away at your leisure. Either way, I have yet another cute ice cream dessert friend to add to my figure collection and I don't regret it for a second. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye bye.